Hello, I'm Paul Zajic, founder of Elastic Steel, method of athletic conditioning. Today, I would like to talk to you about the defensive sidekick. Defensive sidekick is a technique most often used in sports karate or point fighting. To a lesser degree, but it's also used in kickboxing or full contact karate. And to a very small degree, it's used in other styles of martial arts. Okay? Now, defensive sidekick, the main goal of it in the ring is to hit your opponent usually to the body, so it flexes the ribs, and stop them from coming at you. Okay? Most often people who take a side stance like this are more adapted to throwing a defensive sidekick. However, someone from more forward stance or an angular stance can also throw a defensive sidekick. Okay? Very often people do not take any steps back, they stay where they are. When they feel that the opponent is coming at them and there's an opening, they lean back, throw the kick, and bring it down. Very often defensive sidekick is not pulled all the way in. It's a little bit less of a knee and hip flexion. It comes from the floor out and back down. Sometimes people take a small step back and throw the kick. Okay. So, on the other side, here's with the side stance. I'm going to do a little bit faster now. Somebody's coming at me. Okay. Or this side. I'm in the stance. There's a kick or a punch. Someone's coming at me. Defensive side kick. Okay, now what a lot of people do, what I notice from watching people spar and fight, is they throw defensive side kick, place the leg down, and they admire their work. Okay, especially if they hit their opponent. Which is, if you compare that to street fighting, you throw, for instance, an elbow, and then you just stand there and look at the person hurt, but you don't follow up. It's very difficult to take a defensive side kick and transfer it into an offensive technique primarily because whoever ran into you will push you off balance just a little bit. Okay? So it takes a lot to be able to go this way and then quickly come back and follow up with other techniques. Now, if you hit the person, you stop them. If you're fighting for a point, you probably will get that point. If you're fighting full contact, you need to turn that defense into an offense. Okay? Or at least get out because because you hurt a person, that does not mean that they're not gonna come after you after that. Okay? And the best thing that I found that works very well is not to stand there after you throw the kick. Okay, so the person throws the defensive side kick and stand there, not to step back, but actually to angle out or come out right at the angle. The best thing to do is to come out at the angle to the other person's back. So, if I have my left leg in front, he has his right leg in front, I'm going to go to my own back and I'm going to go to his back, he has no weapons to follow. You can also angle out to your own front if you have to, a little bit more difficult than going to your own back, but if you have to, and I have my right leg in front, my opponent has his right leg in front and her right leg in front, I would step this way to their back. The worst thing that I want to do is to go to my back and the front, although it's probably better than to stand there and not do anything, because remember, if you kick it jammed, or if you hit the person in the arm, in point fighting, or in full contact, you actually hit the person, you don't hurt them enough, you don't stop them, they keep following you. Now, if you're in a street fight and using a defensive sidekick to stop or break the person attack, chances are you're going to use the sidekick to the side, to the lower leg or to the knee. Okay? Probably you're not gonna use it to the body unless you really know what you're doing. Okay? In that case the point is the same. You saw a side kick, you want to either turn it into an attack and follow up with kicks, punches, elbows, knees, whatever you might want to use on the street, or you want to angle out. Okay? Going straight back, you might be going straight back without the person momentum and they'll catch up with you. Or if you stop right there you might get hit. So what you're gonna see right now is a little clip taken for my seminar. The seminar is still ongoing. We're still taping for it. Um, and what you're going to see is that defensive psychic with an angle is being practiced. So he will come in without any fakes. Just straight in. Okay. Good.
to make an angle, especially that kick miss. Good. Now, what I'm going to do here is once he saws his kick, I'm going to pretend he hit my arm or I jammed him. And I'm going to follow him straight in. And I follow him straight in, he will only get away from me if he makes that angle. Good. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to make an angle and kick from an angle. We do not want to do that. He wants to use my force against me. So that foot come up sticking into my body with my body going into his leg, his leg is going into my body, something's going to give. And more often than not it's going to be my body. So he wants to use my force going forward against me. The best way to do that is on a straight line. If he steps out to the side and does a defensive side kick, exactly, my force is that way, his force is this way, it's not going to work that well. Okay, so the side kick is thrown on a straight line and then an angle is made right after that. Okay, I'm going through you again. Good. Now that would have stopped me. That jam a little bit, he still got out of his way. Okay, so we're ready for this full size. You can keep any leg in front that you like. Uh -huh. Angle, angle, angle. Okay, notice he came to my front. I had the weapon there. He would have went to my back, wouldn't have the weapon to attack him with. Exactly. Good. 